Hi people. Coronavirus. What's coming out of China? There's something really major, really, really major happening. A flu virus. Never before has it really happened that countries are pulling their staff, the embassy staff, and other people that are um, na their, their national people out of China because of a flu epidemic or a flu virus. Companies that uh, have uh, businesses in China are closing them, notably McDonald's, Starbucks, uh, Ikea, the car manufacturing plants are closing all those down because they're worried about this, uh, this flu. So it's pretty bad. I, I don't think we've been told exactly uh, what well, I don't think anybody knows what it actually is. But there's been a few deaths, a couple of hundred deaths I think, and quite a few tens of thousands of people infected by it. It's spread to uh, 16 or 17 countries already. But the financial implications of this is, gonna, is going to be horrendous, if that's the right word. There's already been reportedly half a trillion pounds sterling off the European um, stock market and probably other markets around the world. I think they're probably all down. It's going to have huge implications for financial sector. Sexton. I mean, if you have major companies closing their businesses in China, that's going to create a lot of unemployment in China. There's going to be huge unrest. People can't go to work, can't pay, can't buy food, can't uh, pay their mortgages or whatever, whatever else they have to pay their power bills and everything else. It loses money for the head um, companies, wherever they are, throughout the world. Airlines are now closing flights to and from China, which is going to have huge implications for the air industry. You've also got um, I don't know about freight, but as far as uh, passenger uh, travel, that's uh, being steadily closed down. So it's going to have, uh, like I said, huge uh, problems for companies. Now I mentioned a few years ago about uh, when the financial markets finally crash that everybody's going to lose the shirts off their back. This could be what I've been talking about for a number of years. This instance that's happened now. A major flu <laughs> epidemic or pandemic as they're starting to call it. You have uh, Britain have just uh, severed their ties with uh, the European Union, which would also have major impacts on the financial uh, markets throughout the world. So this could be the tipping point of what I've been talking about. As more and more stuff gets closed down and people isolated because of this uh, flu, it's going to create all kinds of problems. Not only for the governments of the world, but for people. 
major, major social problems. So I suppose all we can do is hope for the best that um, you keep yourself safe and healthy. But like I said, this could be the start of this uh, financial crisis I've been talking about because there's still trillions and trillions of dollars or pounds or whatever you want, whatever whatever currency you're working trillions and trillions of it like I like I've called before fairy floss numbers on a computer floating around this it could be a good excuse for them to uh, say well bang everything's going to crash de -de 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 -de. down the gurgler and people will lose their shirts. We'll go back to uh, the financial crisis we had in 2008, 2009, where people were jumping out of windows. <sighs> because they'd borrowed heavily and lost their shirts. It's only money. You know? You always start again if you're young enough. Well, that's my feelings. Sad times ahead, I think, for everybody. Catch you.